Allied reinforcements have arrived. This should give us a wider range of options. made his move. So, the question is, what do we do in response? I see! That's a nice move! I'm sure it'll rattle Ghoul Hawaii. found a rather perfect location for us to occupy. That is our destination. such wisdom and perspicacity. We have no choice but to retreat. If only I was healthy. This would be so much easier. I will fight to the end. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. I'm just glad everything went smoothly. Thank you for your aid. Typical war. We have reached something of a stalemate. We need a plan to break this deadlock. I have heard that the Wei officer Wong Ping is unhappy with his treatment. He should be ripe for the plucking. I would like you to talk to Wong Ping. Your task will be to convince him to defect to our side. Sir. I accept your challenge. I am more than familiar with the martial arts. Face me, if you think you are worthy. I see your every move. You are the only move forward. I am forced to acknowledge your skills in battle. I eagerly look forward to our next encounter. Anyone foolish enough to stand in our Lord's path? Kill and face Tao Cho if you dare. With the grand ambition of Master Liu Bei. Do not afford to lose. I will strike for him. We have reinforcements coming to back us up. As long as that is the case, we cannot. 
not lose. Get out of my way! All units, halt! This is where we will make our stand! Is no one defending this position? Very well, we shall do it then. For my aspirations! So this is the best I can do at this time. This is one bitter experience that I shall never forget. was made possible due to your efforts. My lord, your swordsmanship is unrivaled! You're trying to get in Lord Cao Cao's way, aren't you? Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. We must break through Yong Ping Gate! No matter the cost, we must pay it! Squash you! Patience people have of you. Done so. 
This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Hey! You're tearing them up, brother! in the name of Shaho Yuan! Oh, allow me to be the one to claim our revenge. I promise to deliver a beautiful victory for General Shaho Yuan. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units march! is unrivaled! We'll fight to the end! For my aspirations, I will 
showed way what we're made of. I mean, Cao Cao did get away in the end, but that guy must have made a pact with the devil or something. Master Zhang Fei, we must be satisfied with the fact that we have kept Hong Zhang safe. Yes, we have protected this land from Cao Cao's ravenous clutches. That is more than enough. I am most grateful to you all for the courage and determination you showed. Come, we must return to Chengdu. You're satisfied with this. I would have preferred to see Cao Cao's head on a stick. It would have been only fair payback for what he's done. This is the ideal outcome for us. We cannot afford to disrupt the delicate three-way balance of power just yet. Besides which, we did not need to slay Cao Cao. Sooner or later... You think his time will come? That I cannot say. Only the heavens know what fate has in store for any man. Come. We must follow on. I have a few matters regarding the governance of Han Zhong, which I wish to talk to you about. Why is it that I always feel like you're hiding something? Still, I'm happy to help you in whatever way I can. We've claimed territory from Wei, and now we've repelled their colossal army. The world knows all about the strength of Shu now, right, Father? Absolutely. There's no one who can stop us now. And you're really starting to look the part of a great leader too, brother. I'm no great leader. It's you who are supporting me through this. I couldn't do it without you. No. You are more than worthy of being considered king of our land, my lord. In fact, I heartily recommend that you take this opportunity to declare yourself king of Hanjong to the entire land. King of Hanjong? It is a way for us to show to the people of our land and to those in the other kingdoms that we are a force at least equal in scale to Wei and Wu. The land has been divided in three. Our next step is to gradually expand Master Liu Bei's influence so that his vision dominates the land as a whole. King of Hanjiang. That sounds pretty good to me. 
I uh, guess that'd make me a prince then, huh? And we'd be in the king's loyal retainers. I feel like I'm going up in the world. Remember, brother didn't become king so we could go around boasting about our new ranks. It's all to help as many people as possible. We can't forget that. There's one other thing that we mustn't forget. As Master Jugo Leon said, the land has now been divided in three. In other words, we are now ready to join forces with U and fight against Wei. Yes, I remember the plan. There was a certain amount of disagreement with Master Sun Chuan over the land of Jing province, but that will shortly be solved. Soon, I intend to return the two remaining counties of Jing province to U as well. Wait just a minute! We won that land fair and square! Besides, what's going to happen to Guan Yu? Jin province has served dual purposes, as a foothold to claim Yi province and to keep Wei at bay. Now that we have secured Yi province and solidified our territorial base, its only function is to keep Wei in check. If we claim Shun Un, then it will not be needed for that either. And if that happens, Master Guan Yu's task will be complete, and he can return to Chengdu. The three of you will be together again. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah, when you put it like that, it does. Ever since that day in the Peach Garden, we've shared our burden between the three of us. It is always unpleasant to be apart. We must do all that we can to ensure our reunion happens sooner rather than later. Liu Bei successfully repels Cao Cao's invasion of Han Zhang. With this victory, he takes for himself the title of Lord of Han Zhang. In Jing, Guan Yu receives word of Liu Bei's victory and decides the time was right to attack Wei. He chooses Fan Castle as his target. With that, he fell right into Cao Cao's trap. By drawing Guan Yu out and defeating him, Cao Cao aimed to disrupt the fragile balance between the three kingdoms. All else had been to ensure the success of the campaign against Guan Yu. And to do so, he enlisted the aid of Sun Quan, who had long desired the return of Jing province. Sit! Wei will not attack Hanjon for some time now. If anywhere, their next target will surely be Jin province. There are already reports of movement from the Wei forces. I propose that we counteract them by striking first. You mean you want Guan Yu to attack Wei? But... Jing province only has enough troops to defend it. I don't think they have enough to initiate an invasion. Of course not. That's why I'd like to ask Master Fa Zheng to head to Jin province. I am sure that just as he did in the siege of Hanjong, Master Fa Zheng will perform most meritoriously. What's the matter, Fa Zheng? I'm sorry. I've just been feeling a little foggy-headed recently. Maybe it's true that vengeance takes its toll on the body. You must not overdo things, Fa Zheng. We cannot afford for anything to happen to you. Zhuge Liang, perhaps we should send someone else to Jing province instead. Yes, perhaps you're right. We may have asked too much of you recently, Master Fa Zheng. 
I think you should rest for a while. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be fine after a short nap. But Jean Province is a long way away. I'll take care of some business I have in Chengdu instead. I'm worried about him. He just won't rest, no matter how often we ask him to. Who do you intend to send to Xing province instead? I would like to go myself, but bearing in mind Master Fa Zhang's physical condition, it would be unwise for me to leave Chengdu at the moment. Most of our other officers are busy rebuilding their forces after the battle to secure Hanzhong. I think, therefore, that I will simply send Master Guan Yu a letter outlining the strategy I would like him to adopt. I'm sure Guan Yu will appreciate that. I have not seen him for some time. Were it not for my position, I would have liked to have gone to Jing province myself. Master Liu Bei. Another time, maybe. I would very much like to stand on the battlefield alongside my sworn brothers once again. I see. Actually, I'm counting on... I'm grateful to you. Here you go. Yes. Excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Messengers report that Master Guan Yu has successfully executed a flood attack on Fan Castle and has claimed control of the area. They say his children fought bravely alongside him as well. Oh, that is wonderful news. It is splendid to hear that Guan Yu's children have grown up so strong and dependable. The future of the kingdom looks bright, Fa Zheng. Congratulations, my lord. Fa Zheng, you look worse every day. You must take some time to rest and recover. Master Jugo Leong, I wonder if I could be allowed to talk to Master Liu Bei. Alone for a while. Would you mind excusing us? Master Liu Bei. Please refrain from telling me I need to rest in front of the other retainers. Treating me as an invalid only exposes me to either unnecessary sympathy or ridicule. I'm simply worried about you. I cannot afford for anything to happen to you, you know. Death comes to us all. You should save your concern for the future of the land. Master Guan Yu is in Fan Castle. If Wu has designs on removing him from Jin Province, they will not let this opportunity pass. Fa Zheng, do you seriously believe that Wu will betray us, join forces with Wei, and slay Guan Yu? Cao Cao paid a visit to Hong Zhong. That is a clear indication that some kind of agreement was reached between them. Wu has always desired division of the land in two parts. Shu has always been an obstacle to that. If it were me, I would get rid of Master Guan Yu first. But then... Then we must warn Guan Yu at once. We must send reinforcements. That's exactly what Wei wants us to do. If we send men and leave Yi province underprotected, they will break through Hangzhou and come straight for Chengdu. The die has already been cast. It cannot be stopped now until the world sees what number has been rolled. But... But Guan Yu... It... Master Liu Bei, I will give you one piece of advice. If it does come to pass that Master Guan Yu is slain, you must not allow yourself to pursue revenge. If you had a villain like me by your side, then it might just work. But without me, you're simply too kind. Fa Zheng? Fa Zheng! What should I do?
Yes. I'll do my best. You can count on me. No enemy can stand against us now! Advance! Thank you. It's an honor to serve you. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. This victory was made. Yes. Please be careful. No, Guan Yu. Guan Yu! 
How could you go first and leave your brothers behind? I beg your forgiveness, my lord. If we had been stronger... No, Master Liu Bei. The blame lies entirely with me. I knew there was always a chance that Wu would attack Master Guan Yu. I should have sent him more troops to prepare for that eventuality. No one here must bear the blame for Guan Yu's death. This was an act of evil and treachery by the men of Wu. The only one who deserves our hatred and our vengeance is Sun Quan. Brother, what's happened? Why did Sun Quan betray us? I... but we... we swore an oath! We swore that though we were born on different days, the day of our death would be one and the same. We have lost more than just Master Guan Yu. Master Guan Ping and Master Zhou Zan wanted to see us build a land of benevolence too. And after taking Hung Zhang and forcing Wei to the brink, I thought that day was close. Everyone, I would like you all to observe a period of mourning for Guan Yu, Guan Ping, Zhou Zang, and all the soldiers who fell at Fan Castle. They were brave men who fought and died for our dream of a land of virtue and benevolence. That dream, however, does not die with them, but lives on in us. Fa Zheng said that I am incapable of vengeance. But I am not a saint. I've lost my beloved brother to an act of treachery and craven cowardice. I cannot simply sit here and do nothing! Sun Quan! This debt will be paid!